Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. And today I leave the campground. Uh, today's the day where I leave and finally set out to do what I came to Texas to do. summit a three-day summit and uh, after that we're leaving Texas I made it <laughs> it has been a journey getting to this hotel in Dallas so let's talk about uh, this event that I'll be attending starting tomorrow uh, I didn't go into any details and I'll just briefly sum it up really quick so starting tomorrow I'll be attending an event called vid summit it is a summit that happens once a year around this time every year where thousands of creators from all over the world get together at the Urban Convention Center in Dallas, Texas, and listen to some of the biggest YouTubers in the industry talk about their success and what helped them get to where they're at today. It's pretty much them helping us to better ourselves as content creators. It is definitely something that is new for me. I am definitely stepping out of my comfort zone uh, to attend an event of this size with this many people but I always feel like there is room for improvement. And if this summit can help me improve as a content creator, I am always willing and able to learn. Get up, stretch my legs Eat some breakfast, look at eggs Brush my teeth up, wash my face mm -mm, mm -mm. Start my day Wake up, get up, stretch my legs Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs Brush my teeth up I finally made it to Vid Summit uh, day one is today and pretty much it's just registration and I guess getting to know people and then a big party later on but I won't be attending the party I just want to register and then head back to my hotel and uh, kick off uh, an all-day event tomorrow You 
YouTube security. I'm leaving early and uh, waiting on an Uber. Uh, I saw the speakers that I wanted to see today and uh, I'm not gonna wait four hours for the shuttle. So I'm on my way back to the hotel. I am back from the summit. I've been back for a while. I just wrapping up some notes and stuff, but I do have this cheese pizza that I've had in my van for a while. I am tired of eating sandwiches. So I'm going to eat this cheese pizza. I'm still at the hotel. Today's the last day of the summit, uh, vid summit, but I am in my van uh, to drop off a couple things because uh, I'm checking out early in the morning because I'm headed out uh, out of Texas tomorrow morning. And I'm picking up my crock pot and some meat and stuff because I'm gonna make some uh, barbecue meatballs while I'm at the summit today. If you can hear, I'm also running my generator. When I came in my van, my battery for my chase not my chat my chassis my coach battery was at 12 volts on the dot and it hasn't been like that since i bought the battery because i've been running you know driving using the generator it's been charging by the sun but here in texas uh over the last day or two it, the temperatures have dropped and the sun hasn't been out because it's been raining a lot and so my battery has not been getting charged by my solar so when i came in it was at 12 volts i started the, the generator to charge the coach battery and it dropped to 11.9 and I'm like, oh, you know, you gotta keep that thing at 12 or more or you can destroy the battery. I haven't even had the battery six months. So right now the battery's charging and it's at 13.5 volts. We're gonna do venison for the meatballs. We got a little of this sweet heat sauce left from Tex from uh, the campground. So actually, I don't literally don't know what I was thinking, but I can prepare the meatballs in this van while the generator is charging the coach battery and we can just take the pot upstairs and plug it in instead of doing everything upstairs because I am a little strapped for time. So I'm using deer, deer meat, bought this at HEB, that is so cool. I've had deer once and when I found out it was deer, I was like, ew, I don't like it, I don't want it anymore, but now it's just like, eh. It's been a long time. Let's let's do it again. So I'm gonna make deer meatballs. They're gonna be pretty big meatballs too. Actually, I don't know why I got the plate. There we go. One. We'll make small ones. I only bought one pack of deer meat because deer, it's pretty expensive. I think it was like $10. At least 10. I can't believe I almost let my coach battery die. That That's giving me anxiety, guys. I've just been through a, a lot in this van and I don't want to have to deal with the battery. But like I said, I'm under warranty, but still gotta find a place to take the batteries out go get some new it's too much i just hope that this works it should i wasn't even thinking about coming out here every day and just running my generator and uh charging the battery i wasn't even thinking <sighs> i guess you live and you learn by your mistakes
I wish I had some veggies or vegetables to throw in here. I don't really have anything. Onions would have been nice. The shuttle buses start running at 7.30, but that's too early for me to be up there standing around. I usually leave around 8, 8 yesterday I think I left around 8, I think t today I'm going to leave around 8.30. Okay, meatballs are complete, and um, in the hands. I've already showered, brushed my teeth, lotioned up. Good, uh, good to go on all that. Now we just getting dinner together for tonight. We got this sweet heat sauce that we used at the campground. I wish I had some grape jelly because grape jelly would go good, but I don't have any grape jelly. I don't, I'm not a big fan of grape. I like strawberry. So this should be enough, more than enough. Yep. Let's cover these bad boys up. Okay. Oh, and we still have some left. And uh, we'll just plug this in once we get to the ho inside the hotel room. plug in the crock pot right here let's move this out the way and let's just put it right there and we're gonna put it on low and move that right there put these waters in the fridge I know I'm making meatballs, crock pot barbecue meatballs, but there is a food truck right in front of me and they have chicken teriyaki. And you guys know, if you've watched my video when I was in Washington state, chicken teriyaki is close to my heart. So I'm getting chicken teriyaki and we're having venison meatballs. Don't ask me how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna accomplish both. So I got the Korean barbecue bowl and uh, I'm not gonna eat it right now because I'm still fasting, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Uh, it looks really good. They have sauces on the side that you can add to your bowl. Uh, they had spicy mayo, spicy teriyaki sauce, and then teriyaki sauce. I just put spicy mayo on top of mine, but this looks really good. I'm gonna eat this when I get back to the hotel, but let me show you guys what it looks like. You're gonna be jealous, but don't be, because I always give you guys the first bite. Okay, this is what it looks like. Oh, does not look so good. I cannot wait to give that a try when I get back to the hotel. It is Korean uh, beef, um, dumplings, potato noodles, and steamed rice and some veggies. So I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this bowl. I might be full when I get back, but who knows? But I wanna try it while it's hot instead of warming it back up in the microwave. So this is what it looks like. 
first bite goes to you. Have that bite right there. Now my turn. That's fire right there. Oh my gosh, so good. Try a dumpling. First bite goes to you. Now my turn. Mmm. The dumplings are a bit cold. I'm not going to lie. Look at this cabbage. Have some cabbage. My turn. Mmm. Now some noodles. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Now you've had it all. It was $13 for this bowl and it was so worth it. I am smashing this bowl. This has carrots, broccoli, cabbage, dumplings, potato noodles, steamed rice. Mm, this is so good. I'm in the elevator and I went to my van to get some rice, jasmine rice and uh, a couple of paper plates. Hopefully those meatballs are smelling good. I'm going to cook them for a little longer because I'm not ready to eat yet. Although that bowl was good, it didn't fill me up, but I'm not hungry, so I'm going to wait until I get hungry. It's been a long day. I'm ready to lay down. Okay. Ah, I'm home. Let's take a look at these meatballs and see what they are looking like. Ooh, those look good. I'm gonna mix them up a bit. Oh, those meatballs look so good. I hope the venison tastes good because this is the first time that I'm trying venison outside of the last time I tried it. It was a friend, family friend's house that I went to years ago and she made barbecue venice, venison crock pot meatballs. And let me tell you, when I bit into it, I was in heaven. Let me show you guys what these beautiful meatballs are looking like so far. I want them to be tender, so I'm gonna cook them longer. Don't those look good? Okay guys, here's dinner. There's the venison meatballs. And I'm eating in the bedroom just because the lighting is better. And it's just a lot more comfortable because after I eat, I just plan on getting in the bed. Here you go, first bite goes to you. This is venison meatballs with jasmine rice. My turn. Hmm. This don't taste like the venison I had at that girl's house years ago, family friend's house. But then again, her husband does hunt. So that might've been fresh deer, like fresh. This doesn't taste like venison. It tastes like beef to me. But let H-E-B tell it it's venison. The texture is different. It's a lot, it's a lot um, more tender than beef. I can't tell the difference between venison and beef, but I can tell the difference between bison and beef. I like bison a whole lot more and I did buy bison at H-E-B as well. Today's my last day in the hotel. Um, Vid Summit is still going on, but now it's like after hours, parties, giveaways, things like that. I, I'm good on all that. I went and saw the speakers that I wanted to see today and I came back. I had a really good time and I'm so glad that I came here because I learned so much. It was so worth the trip here. 
well, the detour anyways, because Texas is on the way to where I'm eventually going to end up for a little bit of the, of the winter, not the whole winter, because I do plan on doing a little bit of traveling during the winter. Um, on a high note, I did get to talk to and meet uh, one of my favorite creators. His name is Nick Nimmin, and I'll put the picture somewhere on the screen. Yeah, I know I look lame, fam. But I have been watching him for almost four years, if not over four years. And I absolutely love this guy. He's so humble. He helps creators um, grow their channel. And not only that, he's more than that. He helps creators grow their channel, how to get the best deals and brand deals and sponsorships, affiliate programs, things like that. Like he's just all around a very good, knowledgeable guy. And I was so happy that I got to meet him. He's the only person I took a picture with because he is just so cool. I really, really like Nick Nimmin. The meatballs are pretty good. Now, Bit Summit is held every year. Will I go again? No. For me, this is a one-time thing. Um, but one that I will cherish and I'm grateful for. I really did get a lot of uh, good, knowledgeable tips, tricks, helpful hints, things like that. I really enjoyed listening to the speakers that I, that I listened to. I just can't, like I said, I was hoping to taste a difference between venison and beef or something. Like a difference. I Maybe this, I don't know. I can't tell. I do have meatballs left. I did go to my van and get a plastic container so I can put the rest in there and eat them for tomorrow for dinner. This is good. This is really good. Mm. I love my little crock pot. I bought it at Walmart. <sighs> so good. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope you guys appreciated this video. It is not a video that I typically typically make, but I was like, what the heck? This is a part of my life. This is things, this is something that I wanna do to not only better myself as a creator, but hopefully just a better filmmaker, better editor, just improve all around. Cause I wanna give you guys the best experience when you view my videos. I want you guys to have the best experience possible. And um, like I said, I'm always, I'm always open to improvements. I'm never where I want to be. I always want to be better and get better. So I hope you guys appreciated this video. Um, I appreciate you guys tagging along with me. It means the world to me. You guys rock. And I'll say this and I'll continue to say this until I can't say it no more. I have the best community on YouTube. You guys are super humble and I love each and every one of you. So thank you so much for your continued support. It means the world to me. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, wait, wait, uh, 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 drop in the comment box down below where you think my final destination will be. Okay, now I'm done. And as always, I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care. Peace.